Not only to the twelve lost tribes of the nation of Israel, but scattered about greetings on the first week of the Shabbat day. Mm -hmm. Greetings, brothers and sisters who have tuned in today. There's a very important edification topic called Rob Bones of the Valley. What was this talking about with Ezekiel? Mm -hmm. We're going to go right to the point. Ezekiel chapter 37. Let's go there. Let's open up your Bibles. Open up your spiritual conscience. In Ezekiel chapter 37. What was Ezekiel talking about? The Valley of Dry Bones. That's what it says there in the Bible. Right above that caption, it says, The Valley of Dry Bones. And the hand of the Most High was upon me, and he carried me out of the spirit of the heart, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of darkness. So in this vision, and the hand of the Lord came to Ezekiel, and Ezekiel was transported into a vision, and in this vision, the Most High was going to show him something. He said he took him to a valley full of dry bones. Let's go to Psalms 23, verse 4. What did David say? Mm -hmm. Remember King David? Mm -hmm. King David said this. Psalms 23, verse 4 says this. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Valley. You see that word valley? Where are we looking at now, people? The 12 tribes of Israel are in a valley of death. Now, north, north, central, south America, and Ireland, and the sea. David spoke about it, prophesied. He said, he was transported to a valley. A valley of death. Captivity is death, people. Not having the laws of the most high is death. Not hearing the word of your hour is dry. And we're going to show you these concepts that he, that he was speaking about. See what he says? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For God with thy rod and staff they comfort me. See that? David spoke about it. The valley of death that we're in is talking about the Americas and the captivities that we're in in this land. Wherever you scattered at, you see, the most high the house told my Shasha and the disciples to go to where? He said, Matthews 10, 5, and 6, don't go to the Gentiles, but go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. From Judah down to Israel and all in between. Because this new kingdom that's coming, contrary to what they're teaching you in the so-called whole house churches, is for you. And it's not for the world. That's why my Shasha said in Matthew 24, this gospel, this word, mm -hmm. is going to be a witness against the nations. Right. So what they set up here, in this valley of death and this place of dry bones, because right now our people are what? In this dry bone place. And it's, uh, as it says in Psalms of 23, verse 4, David walked through that valley, mm -hmm. and he was talking about a condition, not an actual valley. Right. So when he reached yes. all those bones, we're going to show you today what it was really talking about. See? And it says here, and uh, in Jesus chapter 37, in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And he caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, they were very, uh, very many of uh, in uh, an open valley, and lo, they were very dry. So you know what the Spirit showed me years ago when I first came in? I was telling the brothers this. I said, Ezekiel actually saw that's he right. saw the American captivity. He was walking in the spirit back then, and he saw the people's condition. And when he looked like we're looking now, he got right. like spiritual minded. He said, they very dry. He saw these bones. He said, they dry to get them. Mm -hmm. so what are you talking about? Let's go to uh, Psalm 63, verse 1. Psalm 63, verse 1.
So this video is actually talking about a uh, people in a land. What kind of land is it? Very dry. Meaning what? A dry and thirsty land where no water is. The word of the Lord is not in these so-called churches being taught like how many times we told you? All the time. And our people hate us. They throw rocks at us. But we put up our shield and our buckler and we take this word out and we use it as a weapon. Because we know what we're talking about. We ain't crazy and we ain't no bullets. We're priests. The firm men. They're fire and what? Hammer! And that's what the Lord told us to be when we go out and teach this word. See what he says here? Drop on to the first land. In Psalm 63, he said he panted after the Lord. Because why? He was very dry, no water. That means here, in this place, there's no knowledge of your hand. Let's prove that he's in service. Hosea 4 and 1. Hosea. Prophet, chapter 4, verse 1. Hosea, prophet, chapter 4, verse 1. Who taught us the Bible? Get this book. I keep telling y'all to get these God books. They got bones in it, but they got facts in it, too. Facts of historical record. The religious destruction of the Negroes in the United States. What about Ephraim and Manasseh and Debanon and Dad and all the other tribes? Mm -hmm. You know, I see those. Presbyterian church on an Indian reservation. Mm. Do you know I saw that the other day? So our people have been infiltrated by the Gentiles uh -huh. in this captivity. This book is talking about the so-called Negro in America, the tribe of Judah. We got other books showing you the other tribe. What happened to our people? How we get in this condition? We were instructed. Why? Because we didn't seek the most high of the Lord. So in this valley, in this place of captivity, and it's very dry because the knowledge of the most high in here. Let's read it in Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. It says, What? Hear the word of Yahweh, ye children of Israel. Mm -hmm. This message is for you. That's right, Elder. For Yahweh has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. What's the controversy? One. And all the lands we in. Who they say the Lord is? Huh? When we got our people saying this all every week, what we keep telling y'all about this? Every week we bring this up. Our people have been brainwashed. That's right, There's no knowledge of the most high here. Listen. Because there is no truth, no mercy, no knowledge of your power in the land. You've been taught wrong, people. We have not been taught the law and the testimony, have we? Have we been taught the truth of my Shasha? Have we been taught that my Shasha was a so-called Negro? He looked like a so-called Negro walking up. No, we ain't been taught that. That's why I showed y'all that stuff online. I wanted to see the response of the people. Some brothers said, Jesus never existed. Mm. Jesus was a mess. Jesus mm. was free. You hear all type of stuff coming out of our people's mouth. Why? Because St. John 7, 38, the whole stuff going to be how say, He that believes upon me as the scripture says. Scripture says. The scriptures in the Bible show you who we are and who the Lord is. And if you've chosen to do this, he said, out of your mouth shall come what? Rivers of living water. We don't stop preaching. That's what it's saying I did. You that make mention of Yahweh, keep that silent. We're not going to be silenced by no woman. We ain't going to be silenced by no sister. And we ain't going to be silent by them taxing them up and them telling them, stop talking about white people. The Lord says, tell them on the mountain. Tell them on the street. Tell them on the airways. Tell them. So, well, chapter 2. Go to trouble. The day of the Lord, the hour is at hand. When judgment the day comes, will there be any mercy? Mm -mm. Will there be any mercy in judgment? They're not. The Lord tells you that in the book of James. What the most high initiate his indignation if you ain't in that number you are going to burn that's right that's in the time of noah and all those people did not believe that noah was saying he got on the ark looked out the window the lord closed the ark shut the door 
filled it, and everybody drowned. They took millions of dollars of gold, sheep, birds, and do all that noise. They let us in. We'll give you all of that. No, it was inside state. Couldn't come out, could you? That's how it's going to be in the son of man. You're going to get sealed in this knowledge. The ones of us that stay in this, mm-hmm. we're going to be looking out in them chariots in the last days. That's right. Seeing our people that was into this being dissolved. That's right, Elder. Being burned. Being destroyed. Your mama, your cousins, your father, your aunt, your uncle, your neighbor next door, your friend ain't going to make it if they don't come in here and do what the father said to do. See? So all of this is not the knowledge of the most high in this land. By swearing and lying, ain't this a lie? Ain't this a lie right here? This is the biggest lie on the planet. That's right. This is not the Howard child. That's right. The cross is not an emblem of the most high in the Howard child. The cross meant the burden. Sunday morning service is not the Shabbat. Mm-hmm. We're doing it right now. Eating pork, shrimp, lots of crab, going to bed with white women, race mixing is an abomination. Planet is an abomination. That's right. Hey, tribe, lesbian, Chinese marrying Israel. Word. Let's see if they teach you the word here. 
for Ephesians 5 and 6. Where's the water at, people? Y'all thirsty? I'm going to show you what you need to do. This is what you need to drink every day. This is what you need to do to learn how to pray. This Bible is hope for those who are hopeful. It is malice for those who are simple. It is powerful for those who believe it. Mm -hmm. it forward, and it goes this way, and it comes back this way. Bam! That's right. The head's going to be rolling, spiritual. And then physical in Jeremiah 16, 16, when the time comes, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26. Is, there this, is this in the land right now? Listen to this. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. All people in the most high word today. Mm -mm. The answer is no, because it's not here in this. And it's not here in America. And it ain't in no so-called church. This is sacrilege. This is lies. What it says, Jeremiah 9, 6, and to the my people refuse to know me. Why are you going to walk around in a lie and admit to the truth? That's what happened to Ariana and them up there. They were, they were teaching, but they were not, man. And brothers, if you were with them, I said, well, at one time I was. Now I'm free. Mm -hmm. And how about you now shine the day you. So whatever I do, brother, it ain't up to you to save me. It's up to us to be saved by believing in God. Is it not written? Is it not written? Those who believe shall be justified. Those who know shall go tell it. Those who don't know shall learn it. Those who are in error have a chance. So in this land of the valley of dry bones, there is no knowledge of the most high. You know where you're going to find it? Amongst the elect of Israel. That's where you're going to find it. You ain't going to find it in the church. You ain't going to find it in the Omega church. You ain't going to find it in the 10,000 million man army march with Lil Sal. I had a brother come in my school years again. He said, I'm going to the march. I said, come here, brother. Don't go down there. He left and he never came back. Mm. He missed his call and did He missed his and that number. Didn't he? You know why? Because brothers want to stick with a people and stick. You see this illustration up here? This is where our people are getting. African Americans, Muslims, Bible setters, arbitrary, communists, faggot flags, faggot flags, faggot. You know what a faggot is? What we call faggots back in the day? Queer. Queers. Rebels. Real. Now we call them the D. Clay. That's right, Elder. Purple paint pot. You ain't worth nothing, man. That's right. What are you worth? What you gonna leave behind? Where's your wife? Where's your kids? Can't make no kids up no man's ass, brother. Nope. Yeah, and I say that and some people get offended. You know why? Because you can't stand the truth. That's right. The truth hurts. And we need to shake people up and shake them down. They make them stop looking like a damn clown. That's what we need to do. See? So the word is going to help us in St. John 17, 17. So in this land, there is no knowledge of the most high. Let's go to Isaiah 65, verse 2. What else do our people do here? Here they go right now. In this land. Let's go to this land. He said in this land, something's going on. Here it go right here. Isaiah 65. Let's go there real quick before the time runs out. <laughs> it says, I have spread out my hands to a rebellious people. Who's a rebellious people? The nation of Israel. You know what it's about the Bible? If you had a report card, you know how people would get an F. Failure to worship. Failure to acknowledge. Failure to go and worship mm -hmm. on the days appointed. Failure to know who he is. Failure to say and denounce this. Failure. Failure. Failure everywhere. Shame. And they got the nerve to come up against us and scream at us because we put this damn devil to flight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it because I need this book. I ain't going to do it. We put him to flight and our people get mad at us. The damn man on children, he don't rob you. Took your hand, raped your kid, told your kid that Santa Claus coming to give you a present. Have you ever seen Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. Huh? I, I, you, you know who this is? 
sees a bullet. That's right. Ain't come. See that? Goat riders. I spoke to Mason Brothers. I went to their church. I made mockery of them. They ain't there. Do, 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 and the children of Israel did what? Rose up to play. And I seen them doing that. I went in there and I rebuked them. Then the brother was going to bed with a white woman, screwing on every dark hole of her body. I said, You still be little spider. I'm going to call it Israel spider. You're a spider. You're a wicked man. I said, You're going to bed with that white woman? Before you can get to that Negro 
He got an entourage of security. Farrakhan got bodyguards. Them Negroes are strapped. You right. understand? They getting money from the government agents yeah. and they working for the white man to keep you in this. Do you realize that? You have to escape through the knowledge of the most high and denounce any ties with the Negroes or to the Puerto Ricans. Yeah, I got black people in my neighborhood. I don't deal with them. I said, brother, come to the Shabbat service. They said, man, give them the fly. I said, this is the way to keep in the life. The hour shot, okay? Come on in, brother. Yeah, man, I, I, that's if I believe. You know, and you know what? I find out a lot of you Negroes work yeah, in Puerto Ricans, you don't believe in the Bible. That's why you looking like Ray Parker Jr. online, looking like a damn nutcase burnout talking crap. Because you don't know nothing. You don't know who you're speaking to. The Lord's servants are here. The elect of Israel is here, and we're going to teach you the word. And after a while, all this is going to be burned. And if you don't get to that number, read it on. As it says, remain in there, in the monument. The Lord said we're going to be here doing this. Deuteronomy 426. Go to Deuteronomy 426. It is written in Deuteronomy 426. What he said? He said this. The same thing I'm reading to you right now against our people, Moses. And I call heaven and earth to witness against you to say that you shall sue utterly earth from up the land where it's over Jordan. You go to possess it. Where is the land of Jordan? Is that not the land of where the holy land is? According to the Bible. The land of Jerusalem. Shalom. Shalom. All 12 tribes at one time as a kingdom dwelt there. The Lord said in the last days, Jacob shall be what? A nation and company, company of nations shall come from there. That's why so many of us are breached from each other. We can't look at a Puerto Rican right. or, or Dominican or, or, or Mexican brother and say, that's, that's my, my, that's that's my, my people. Family. You know that's why? my family. Because it is. Because it is. It's brainwashing, man. Brain. It's brainwashing. It's ignorance. It's, it's race. Irreversible racism we got amongst us. We, a lot of us hate each other. It says in the Bible, the Lord going to break the brotherhood of Judah and Israel, didn't he? A lot of us hate their own people, and they section themselves off in ignorance. That's why a lot of us ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying, You shall not belong with David. But you shall be utterly destroyed as a nation and a kingdom. Jerusalem fell in 70 AD. And the Most High shall scatter you among the nations. That's where we are now. In this land called what? The land of the valley of death. Okay? Uh, what does it say again? And the Lord shall scatter you amongst the nations. Verse 27. And you shall be that few in number among the heathen. There's few of us. The few, the proud, the elected that know this. The rest of us have been blinded. And you shall be left few in number amongst the heathen, whether it's Yahweh shall lead you. And there you shall serve God. You hear that? Why is United in Christ, Israel United Christ teaching that? Because they're trying to be a Hebrew life, and right. they're trying to go by the Gentile way. You can't do both. Uh -huh. Can't do both. I had a vision last night. I was sick before an insomnia. Right. And I stood up and I said, Stop using that damn word, God. Right. You know you ain't learned that from the school. And I know the brothers went off, but you supposed to know the knowledge that you got from them so you can build yourself. And I told him that. And he's sitting there looking stupid. Mm -hmm. But we know what we can learn. And the stuff that was wrong. There was truth in there and a lot of political mayhem. But the most high took us out of there and he said, Follow me. Mm -hmm. And that's what I did. So we were not there for all of that rhetoric. Now, I wasn't up there for that rhetoric and that foolishness and the brothers coming in there. And all them groups was out there like Karash. They were out there like sharks swimming around the camp, that's waiting right. to see if they could get in and fight somebody. You can't touch me, Karash. And you can't touch That's anybody right. in the school. You know why? Because we got a hedge of angels around us. And your stupid, idiotic, following crap of teaching the wrong tribe and you Judah and Dad, boy, that don't mean a damn thing. 
Right. It means nothing because you know you do that guy. And I told you, and I posted it on Facebook, a lot of the Gadites had Negroes as slaves. Yep. Okay? And that's why a lot of you brothers went on the reservation talking about you want to go over there and you want to be an answer. Look, man, the Gadites are off. Oh. The whole nation of Israel went off. It's time for you to seek the Lord, Hosea 10 and 12. Gather yourself together, O nation, not right. You must come from among them among in them. order for you to get this. To get That's the right. Shire and the new kingdom. You must come to the street here and reform your minds and your hearts and conform to this and be born again or you not getting in the new Jerusalem. And That's it says right. here, and you shall serve God the work of men hands. Who wrote these books about making you? Right. Who gave Geno Jackass his so called church? 28. Who taught the potter's house? Go check these men out. Go check out Farrakhan. They all learn from men, the doctrines of men. They don't teach the Bible because they're not chosen and faithful. That's why I said in Revelation 17 those that are with Yahweh Shah are called and what? Faithful. You're going to hold on to this until the end of the world. That's the right. rest of y'all are going to slip and slide off the, off, off the path and fall into the water and the fire. This is why you got these brothers and sisters out here in it is, and the faith Yahweh being Yahweh, brothers have told me he's coming back. Mm -hmm. I said, if he come back, then Yahweh shall come back. I'm going to sit back and see who's going to win. That's right, bye, y'all. Yeah. Go ahead. That's what you believe in? Yeah, brother, I believe in that. Good. Get your ass out of here. Mm-hmm. Get behind me, Satan. That's right. We don't believe in that. Then you got brothers out here believing, saying Yahweh Shawas never existed. Ooh. You denying the great one, the shot of you shall be denied faith and truth and mercy in the damn judgment. That's right. And it's coming now. See? And you say, what? Mm -hmm. Uh wooden stone, which neither hear nor uh, uh nor, nor eat nor smell. That's why you got told to go. Go out there to Shinnecock. Go out there on the reservation. What are they dealing with? Hood your hood. Hood your I said, what is that, man? Well, we was praying to the great spirit. I said, who is the great spirit, got off? I learned some of the stuff that they were doing. They off, all of them. Praying the clouds, making it rain and all of that. What mm. happened to them? They got destroyed. That's right. For serving other gods. Wood and stone as it is this day and here we are today living this thing talking about it and prophesying about it out of the bible so we learn and what it says here let's go to uh deuteronomy 426 we're going to read on from here and it says what mm -hmm. uh and if, if, if from thence thou shalt seek the hollow thy power Mm -hmm. This is the time you got to get into now. See. The refreshing. The course. If you get called in the Lord, answer it. Answer. Amen. Come learn. Thou shalt find him, and thou shalt seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. For when thou art in tribulation, you're in tribulation now. Where you at? In the valley of God. Come. This is where you are, Israel. And all these things are coming upon thee. Even in the last days, mm -hmm. we're living in the last days right now. If thou turn to the Lord Yahweh Amen. and shall be obedient to his voice, for the Lord Yahweh is merciful power. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee. Nor forget the covenant that uh, uh, thy fathers, the fathers which, which you swear to them. See that? This is where we are now. Because mm -hmm. what's in here right now? Go to Amos 8.11. You know what's here now, people? Write this down. Write it down. This is the time we're living in now. This is why our people are dry. You know why they dry? Because they're not learning nothing in these so-called churches. Amos chapter 8 and verse 11 says this. Behold, the days come, said the house, that I will send a famine in the land. Mm -hmm. Not a famine of bread, nor of thirst, for water, but of hearing the word of the Most High. Who's teaching y'all the Bible like this? That's right. Have you ever heard anybody teach like this before? Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -mm. The prophets are here. Prophet. 
the elect is here. Who I, who I am or where I was back then or what, which I'm talking I don't get into that. You know why? Because it's not needed. It's not needed for me to call myself Paul or Saul or any of those other brothers because you don't know who you are and who, what the Spirit says. The Spirit says the, pro, the Spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. So whoever I was back then, it doesn't matter. I'm not King David. I'm not the Howard Shah. I'm um, a father of Moses during Israel, a servant of the Lord, the Howard Bashanah Shah, and I believe. Right. Therefore, we teach you the truth. We talk about what we believe. Yeah. Our sanctification. See what it says here? And it says, in this land, there's going to be a famine. A famine of what? The knowledge of the most high not being here. Let's go to Isaiah 55. What do you need to do while you're here in this town? Go to Isaiah 55. Listen to what the most high said about this. He said, lo, ho, ho, everyone that's thirsty, come to the water. Come to the base. If you want some knowledge, we'll give it to you for free. We'll teach you for free. We'll build you up for free. We'll anoint you for free. We don't ask for anything. If you give us donation, it goes toward the show. See? Come ye to the water. The water is the word. Come to the council. That's right. Ask of the council of your elders. Like it says in Deuteronomy. Ask your elders. Ask your younger. They don't need nothing. Ask your elders, man. That he that has no money, you ain't got to come in here and be rich. Mm -hmm. The Lord said a rich man trying to enter into the kingdom is like a cat going through a camel going to the eye of a needle. Right. You don't need a money. We don't get, we ain't looking for rich men. The Lord said we ain't looking for rich men. We're looking for brothers who have a country heart, broken. Broken. Bro brothers who are down and out, poor. Those who are disenfranchised from the system, like myself, they threw my ass to the curb. Yep. And the Lord picked me up and had mercy on me. So, Amen. this is the type of people the Lord is looking for. Those that are sick. And it says, Come ye by and eat, meaning invest yourself in the truth. Alright? Come in the truth and invest in it. Yay, come buy wine and milk. Without money and without price. So this is priceless, man. You can't pay for this. It's free. Come, it's free. Wherefore do you spend money on that which is not bread? So the bread is a, is a, is a Bible. The understanding of, of the knowledge of the kingdom. So why do you spend your money in these brothers and sisters that get all these big oh, ass hats, they put on all these damn fancy ass clothes, they mm -hmm. go to this jackass right here <laughs> and give them your type money, they give it the quick low dollar, so you can fly around in a $65 million damn plane. That's right. And you get these damn jet lag preachers your damn money. Why? Because you are the peace people. You're comfortable here. You like it here. The Lord says in Jeremiah, people are going to love to have this thing. The ones in the truth are going to rebel. We're going to say, go to hell, and we're going to run from it. That's what we're going to do. See what it says here? <laughs> And your labor, for that which satisfies not. All this laboring and praying, where are you going in this church, you know, jackass? I told the brothers, walk around that damn church like in the time of Jericho. Mm -hmm. And prophesy against that Negro. Watch what the most high does to him. You understand? Watch what he's going to do to Farrakhan. Watch what he's going to do to the Palestine. Watch in Ezekiel 30, uh, 13. They all... Falling down. London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Guess what? Negroville and state churches is falling down, falling down. Okay. My dear lady, get the hell out of there. Because it's going to be brought down according to Ezekiel chapter 13, and them buildings going to fall on these false prophets. That's right. Just say it to Howard. See? And he says here, Art and diligently under me. And eat ye that which is good. Eat this word. Eat it up. Eat That's right. Eat it up. Mm -hmm. And let your soul delight itself in fatness. And when the blessings come, you will be rejoiced. Incline your ear and come unto me. Hear, and your soul shall live. Do what? Do they hear? Hell no, they don't hear. Hell I saw those brothers run over there. You know, Jack asked, he said, you say we beat our women. 
Them niggas all sent a 50 man damn security team down there. Well, we're we, we getting them out of here. Don't, don't worry, Mr. Jennings. We're going to get them out of here. Yo, man, you got to go, man. You got to address that later on. Yeah, but you said we beat our women. He said, you got to go out here. You got to go out there. And they put them out, didn't they? Yep. Yes, they did. The Lord said, they're going to throw you out. They don't kill you. They don't use your name. And these are what the Son of Man said. Mm-hmm. Yahweh Shah said that. That's right. Here we are. We're Thank you, Yahweh Shah. Here and uh, your soul shall live. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. So the, the mercy he had on David, the most high is going to have on us. And what is he going to build up in these last days? Acts 15, 16. Let's go there. Acts 15, 16. Out of David came the Savior, Mashaka. We read that in the book of Samuels. And this is what's coming next. After this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen and died. David, through that lineage, he mm -hmm. chose David and Solomon, and through that David lineage came Mashasha. Mashasha. The king shall reign and prosper out of that lineage. That's he right. He loved David because he was a man of his own heart. That's right. And Solomon was the wisest king of Israel. King in, in, uh, in, the in East. Israel. Right, in the East. And he went off oh. and did the king himself. See what he says here? Uh, Acts uh, 15, 16, right? And it says here, which is falling down, and I will build it again in ruins there, and I will set it up, that the residue of men might seek after the whole time, and all the Gentiles, meaning the ten tribes, ten tribes, from whom my name is called. Because that ain't talking, that, see, they go to show you right there, you brothers in the church, they don't know what they're talking about. Right. When he said, Jacob shall be a nation and company a nation. That's what he meant by this. Like in the call, Asher, Naphtali, Reuben, God, all these tribes, people, Zebulon, they became different nations under their tribal chiefs yeah. and kings on this side of the earth. But the most high gonna break all that down, yeah. set up the 144,000 in the river. That's right. And this is why we minister to you the way we do. That's right, by you. And it says, whom my name is called. Only people he called Israel were the twelve tribes. He called his sons and daughters. So this ain't talking about no Gentile. Why would he say in Isaiah, I would not give my glory to another? Right. Huh? Because these false prophets are lying to y'all people. Said the Lord, who drove all these things, known unto Yahweh are all his works from the beginning of the world. Of the world. God. Here it is right here. God. How can you believe? Like he says in Romans 10 14, unless you sick. And how can you sit? Uh, how can you preach? Unless you sit. And how can you uh how can you believe unless you hear? And how can you preach unless you sit? This is gonna bring you the glorious gospel of two people. The disciples and the prophets of Israel of That's the right. elect of the are gonna elect. bring you these good things. Let's go back to Ezekiel 37, where we left, left off at, and we were in what? In uh, verse uh, 3. And he said unto me, uh, Son of man, can these bones live? And, he, and I answered, O Yahweh, thou know Look at our people today. In the condition we are in right now, can we live toward the most high? Mm-mm. Doing that? How we gonna keep the Shabbat when everybody's doing it? How we gonna praise the Hallelujah Shabbat Shah in our language, Lachi one for not, when everybody's speaking a different language? Mm -hmm. How can we sit down and come together when you are assholes, jackass like Jack Gino Jenkins, Gino Jackass, and a damn deceiver and a thug? That's right. How you gonna sit down with this man? The man's a liar. He's a pimp. He's right. a damn gangster. He's right. a thug. With a Bible in his hand and a Pee Wee Herman too. That's right. He's dangerous. Huh. And y'all want to go up there and sit down with him. If this blow your brains out, we warn y'all. We told y'all. Right. Stop being soft. Stand in the congregation and the assembly and in our camps. The Makaga. Without 
our tribal banners, and the heads of the most high around us. Let that Negro come down to you. Come. And tell them what the Lord said. And march around their damn churches like on the walls of Jericho and watch what the Father is going to do in Ezekiel chapter 13. That's right, Elder. See what it says here? Verse 6. Now, uh, what it says here? Uh, verse 4. And it says, And again he said to me, Prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. So the Lord commanded us to prophesy to our people. Thou said to our power unto these bones, Behold, I will call breath to enter into you, and you shall live. You know what the breath is? The law. The knowledge. The knowledge. The most high going to send the prophets out, and the people going to receive this knowledge, going to be saved. The one that rejected is going to be destroyed. The ones that don't hear it, don't tell, you're going to be left behind. Okay. See what it says there? And I will lay singing on you in verse 6, and will bring upon flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am Lord. The Howard is going to save a remnant of Israel. The 144,000, okay. the disciples, and the ones that sealed in this knowledge are going into New Jerusalem. That's right, How many of our people are going to get crushed in this damn place? For sure. A lot of us ain't going to make it, man, because of monopoly, stiffness, rebelliousness. And if you don't care about the Lord, we don't care about you. Okay? We ain't going to be crying over those smoke milk, running to no damn uh, protests, trying to protect wicked-ass brothers who are out there shooting people, killing babies and old ladies. We ain't going to be standing up for you, and we ain't got nothing to say and nothing to do with you. Okay? The sinners are not heard in Israel. If you are uh, the light and the wicked, and you forsake the law, you're going to be destroyed. That's right. And if you come up against the righteous, the righteous is our buckler and shield. It's our buckler and our shield. From your ignorance. And, ignorant. and your murder. Your murder. Zechariah, chapter 13, 13 verse, verse 8. 8. And it shall come to pass. Then in all the land, said Jehovah, two parts thereof shall be cut off and stopped. But the third part shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part of them uh, uh, to the fire. And we find them as silver is refined. What is that talking about the fire? The fire is talking about what? We always bring this out and we'll bring it out again. When the Lord Jehovah shall return, that's and right. the fire of, is of the atomic bombs and the, from the heavens and the meteorites and the showers and the plagues take care of America, Babylon, and Greece. The Havashah is coming in the heavens with the angels to retrieve a remnant of his people. Do you believe it? Yes. Are you look it up? Come on. Yes, I believe it. See what it says here? And it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined. So you're going to be changed, changed in that day. In that day. We're going to be changed. No more ignorance. No more stubbornness. No more superstitions. No more idols of the house of Israel and the pollution of the Gentiles. You're going to be made pure. Man. See what it says here? Come. Uh, verse 9. Then he said unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy unto the man. And say unto the wind, Thus saith the Lord your house. Come oh. from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the slain that they may live. So this knowledge will get out to the four corners of the world. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them. And they lived and stood upon their feet, and it saved me great. Army. Do you hear him? Revelations 11 and 8. Listen to this. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. Showing me that this is here in our mouth. Listen to this real good. Revelation 11 and 8 says this. And then their body shall lie in the streets of the great city. That's where we're at now. The greatest city of the world is known as where? New York City. New York. 
Where these Negroes were to the Puerto Ricans at? Walking in the streets of the Valley of Death. Valley of Death. Activity in their marriage. Yep. Which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. The fact that the nurse schools are here, bondage is Egypt. Well, also, our Lord was crucified. So they killed Christ and put this image up of this guy here. Machiavelli for Christ. And there the people of kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half. And shall not suffer their bodies to be put in graves. That's the captivity. Okay. We've been there for approximately 400 years. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them for the July, Christmas, New Year's, and Halloween that they make up. And make merry and shall sin just one or another. Because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt in the earth. That's the nation of Israel. That's the nation of and after Israel. After two days and a half, the spirit of Yahweh entered into them. And they stood upon their feet. And fear fell upon them with started. See that? So this is the army that the Lord is going to raise up. And this is what's going to happen next. And he, they heard a voice from heaven saying, Come up hither. And they are sending up to heaven in the cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour, there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and the earthquake was slain of men, seven thousand, and the remnant were frightened, and gave glory to Yahweh, Yahweh heaven. That's right. The cloud. Chariots. And, and that's the cloud, the chariots. The cloud. This army was talking about who? Verse 11. And he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Mm. Mm. Oh, they say our bones are dry and our hope is, is lost. And we are cut off from our parts. It's not lost. You're not a lost people anymore once you come to Yahweh and Yahweh's house. The most high Yahweh is coming back here to save a remnant of us. That's right, Lord. It's time to seek the Lord, people. As it says in Hosea, chapter 10, verse 12. These bones that we just read about are the whole the house of Israel. Israel. And the most high God is you again and raise up a remnant. And save that remnant from North, Central, Central South, South America, America and the islands and the of the sea. Of the sea. So who are the dry bones in the valley? The whole house of Israel. The twelve lost tribes of the nation of Israel. Who's the power? Yahweh. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai's the power. Yahweh is the power, brothers. So, Yahweh by Shai. Praise. Praise. Yahweh, Yahweh, I am. Bahashem in the name of Mashasha. Shasha. Shasha. Or the Lord of the Sea. This is Ben. Hosea chapter 10, verse 12. Lama now. Lord. Did you come? Like Son of God. It's going to last time of the nation of Israel. And Quam. Quam. Yasha Allah. Look up. Draw of nine. Shalom. Shalom.